I am Wander001 and this is my review of Scanner Radio Free. It is an app that can be found on the Google Play Store for Android. What is Scanner Radio you may ask? Well, we'll click in and get started. So what you're seeing here is the main landing page for the app. There are two choices that you can have. You can either have your favorites or top 50. What this app does is allow you to listen in to police EMS fire scanners or the radios that they use to communicate with each other, uh, mainly the dispatch to the people out in the field. Now you're not going to be actually listening in directly over the radio waves. This app uses a website to retransmit these. Some people aren't allowed to have scanners in their particular neck of the woods, or other people just like to stay abreast of what's going on in their general area. It's generally why I have this. I kind of like to know what's going on. I live close to a fire substation, so every now and then it goes off. I like to know what's happening. So like I said, right now we're looking at the main landing page. So you can see I have three items listed. These are area or, uh, scanners that are close to me. Each of them has a yellow star next to them, meaning that it is a favorite that I have selected. If we click on one of the items, it brings us to the scan or the feed for that particular item. Here we can see a big orange box which gives you all the information. There's a sliding volume control right on the screen and an ad. It is an ad supported item. There is a paid version of this, I believe it's $2.99, which will get rid of ads as well as give you a couple other features, but generally I kind of like free, so I'll live with the ads. It doesn't bother me that much. If you notice up here, there is a scanner icon. What that is is, if I go away from the app itself, it's still running in the background listening into that feed. So you do have to be careful. It will eat through a lot of battery if you leave it running. Also, you do uh, obviously need to be connected to either Wi-Fi or data. If you have a small data plan, you might not want to have this running all the time. So back to my main landing page, you can see here at the bottom, it lists the last item that you listen to. So if you have a long laundry list of favorites, you can just click the bottom and it jumps right back into playing the last item that you play. I'm clicking the stop button here, which gets rid of the icon in the upper left there. And I'm going to go back. You have two choices to access the menu. You can either left drag across the screen or you can click up there in the upper left hand corner and it brings up your list of items. Now, like I said, I set mine to go to my favorites. We can select top 50, which is just that. It is the top 50 most popular scans out there. If we go into the Chicago Police Department, if you're not familiar with what a scanner sounds like, that's pretty much what you're going to get. And I'm just going to stop that. To go back, we can just use that button in the upper left. And I'm just going to go back there because I want to go to the next option, which is nearby scanners. So what it does is it accesses your GPS and tells you, hey, here's a listing of all the scanners that we have based on your location. This is extremely helpful when traveling. Let's say you're not familiar with the area, but you want to hear maybe what the highway department is up to, or you see like a backup happening and a couple of police and EMS heading down. Do this, you find out what uh, is closest to you, you listen in, you find out. Like I said before, if you notice here, there are stars on the side. Only some of them have been filled in. Those are items that I have selected as my favorites. And we're going to go back. Next item on the list is new additions. And it's just that, new scanners that have been added to this particular website. You also have the option of browsing via a directory. You can do by area, by genre, by source, or custom scanner. I'll just go by area to give you a generalization of what that looks like. Uh, we're going to look in Spain and countrywide, statewide, and there we go. Here's your scanners for uh, Spain. And I'm not going to go back through all those submenus, so I'm just going to go back. I'm not going to go through configure alerts only because I don't use them that much, but uh, here I will show you broadcasted alerts.
So this is everywhere, so it's not just for your localized region. Not quite as useful as I would like it to be, but it's there if you want it. So I'm going to go back to my favorites and I'm going to go into the fire control at the moment only because there's some extra options on this screen that I did not touch upon before. And I did touch upon what the star meant, but here's this little eye and a circle icon. What that is is information for the particular scanner that you're listening to. Uh, a better example of this would be if I go back to the EMS and police one and go to information, it shows you a laundry list of what is covered by this particular scanner. Now it is reasonably quiet today, so there is not a lot of scanner action happening. Another item that I should have showed you earlier was this button up here. If you're familiar with the way Android lays out its items, you know it is a search button. So you can type in a particular command that you're looking for. In this case, I typed in New York, which brings up NYPD for several different districts in New York. In my opinion, it's a good app to have on your phone for a just in case. Yes, you might not need it all the time. Maybe you do want to have it on all the time if you're one of the people who likes to listen in and know what's happening in your area. But it's, it's just something to have on your phone for that what if just in case scenario. And it has gone through a couple revisions. This is the, the latest one. Uh, I did do a re video review and was about to post it and then they decided to change the entire layout. So this is a new video review for the modern layout. Now, if we click the settings down here, I'll go into about. So this is currently version 4.203. Uh, things might change a little bit in the future, but the general uh, workings of the app will stay the same. It's good to have, it's good to stay informed. If you have questions or comments, just leave them in the area below.